let's see now how to save a brush. Because when you have created a brush and spent a lot of time on, on this brush, well, you want to save it in order to reuse it later. Well, the first place where you can save a brush is this area. This area is the brush history. In the brush history, you will see the different tools you have used since you started the TV paint session. All those different shapes are custom brushes I have cut. Sometimes we can see proper icons just like this. Those icons are uh, just mean that I was using a pen brush or an airbrush. When you have a different, when we have a different, um, when we have a different drawing, a different icon, it means it was a custom brush. So to take another brush, just click and take the brush. Anyway, there is a problem with the brush history. The main problem is the fact that if you close TV Paint, the brush history will vanish. It's just a temporary place to save brushes and custom brushes. So there is another place where you can save brushes and custom brushes. This place is the bin. The bin is the place where you can save brushes just by making a little click on the empty area. There is one bin per kind of drawing tools. So uh, it's really easy to use since you just have to make a click and then you select a brush and you can paint with that brush. There are two disadvantages. The first one is the fact that you have to select first the drawing tool before uh, being able to click on the tool itself on the brush itself. So for example, you can't have the pen brush and pencil brushes at the same place. You always have to switch from a drawing tool to another one. The second disadvantage is the fact that you um, can't really share the brushes uh, saved here in the bin. It means it's for your very own use. Uh, if you want to share with other pe people, with the people with, from your team, for example, the brushes you are using, the bin tab is not very the best way to do so. The best way to do so is to use the custom panels. The custom panels have their own menu just here. So you have some custom panels already available by default in TV Paint. I'll show you them later. Here, here we will try to create our own new custom panel, like this. So by default, this custom panel is empty because we haven't saved anything yet. So to save something, to grab something, we have to make a right click. When we make a right click, we have different choices, especially here, we have the possibility to grab the current tool. When we grab a current tool, it means we will grab uh, the tool itself and the different parameters. If we make a right click and choose grab current tool with colors, we will grab the current tool and the color, the B color and the A color, and also the papers, if we were using papers. Just to show you an example, let's take another brush. And let's take another one. Like this. So here, I can switch from a brush to another one, like this. We can also create separators. To do so, we'll make a new right click and we will create new. Vertical is not really interesting since you just put a little gap between two brushes. The one that interests me the most is add horizontal separator, just here. So for example, I can now select several brushes, cut them, make a right click and paste them inside the separator. I can even give it a name, making a right click, rename. Okay. And so I can organize my custom panel like this in a very simple, easy way. 
to recognize the brushes. Lastly, we have the possibility to give a name to the brushes. To do so, we will make a right click, edit, and we can give it a name. We can eventually give a comment. The comment will be displayed on the tooltips. Remember the tooltips just here. So here, mine are disabled. If you have the tooltips enabled, you have the possibility to write a comment and the comment will appear in the tooltip. You also have the possibility to change the icon. So you may choose an icon from the list, but you can also create your own icon. Creating an icon is very simple. It's a child's play. So let's draw something very simple, like a tiny pencil. Now let's use the cutting tool. I do a right click, edit, and I will check tool option. I will hit tool option just here. Okay, and now I have my little icon just here. Once a custom panel is done, you have the possibility to share it. To share it, there are several ways to do so. First of all, we can make a right click, go into this panel and export it as a TVPX. So we have the possibility to give a name to the palette, to choose a splash screen, so it can be a current image uh, you've drawn, the custom brush, or even uh, you can grab the custom panel, so the image of the custom panel. You can use a license file, you can put an author name, even put a copyright name, and define the place where it has to be saved. To open a custom panel, we'll go into custom panel, load a custom panel, and I will load my TVPX panel. Load. So here are the choices, and I will just say OK, and here we are. We can share also um, a custom panel in a different way. If you remember an earlier tutorial, I was talking about the share manager just here. So the share manager will detect the other person um, connected over a local network. And if, especially if those person are currently using TV paint on this local network. Here, uh, well, I remind you, I'm still alone, so there's no, <laughs> there's no neighbors. But if you're connected over a local network with people using TV Paint, you can see their names here. You can click on the person, and then you can decide to send them a project, a clip from a storyboard, or a custom panel. And then you can select which custom panel you wish to send, and then click on the send button, and your neighbor will receive a notification and you may accept or discard the reception of the custom panel, but if he or she accepts, he will get a copy of your custom panel. And a last way to save a custom panel is to embed this custom panel within a project. To embed a custom panel in a project, let's make a right click, this panel, embed it project. And so it becomes Green. The title becomes green. It means if I switch from a project to another, here my panel will disappear. So that's really handy since um, instead of letting a little sticky note saying, hey, don't forget to use this custom panel for this project, you can embed a custom panel in a project. Each time you save this project, the custom panel is saved as well. And so when you open this specific project, the custom panel embedded will open at the same time.